Welcome to choosing a deployment method, which is the second section of learning application deployment with Laravel. In the previous section, we became more familiar with expectations and files for the video course. In this section of the course, we'll learn how to choose the proper deployment method and technologies for our project needs. We'll briefly learn about the life of an application from beginning to end. We'll navigate through some of the basic considerations when choosing a deployment method. We'll also take a look at what type of hosting environments are available. And then we'll finally wrap this section up by talking about the different tools out there, built with deployment in mind. This is the first video of Section 2, Life of an Application. It's important for us to learn about a basic application's life to better understand where deployment belongs in the picture. So in this video, we'll be looking at the basic flow of an application to see a timeline of the application's life. After that, we'll decide where deployment should be introduced on the project's timeline, and how frequently it should be applied. Every application is born as an idea or an assumption. This idea or an assumption then enters a research phase of the application where the problem must be clearly defined and understood. This is maybe where users are interviewed to help guide the application. As the application matures with understanding, the research phase allows for exploration and more ideation around the problem based on the user's needs. This is where wireframes and UI designs might give the application character. Once the application is mature enough, there is ideally a stage in its life where some of the wireframes and designs begin to be built out as prototypes. This is a stage of life for the application where its personality begins to shine and interactions can be built upon. Finally, the application is ready to be evaluated and tested based on the user research. If it passes all of the checks and balances, then it's ready to be built out and deployed to server. Maybe the application is fully mature at this point? but most likely only certain aspects of the application are mature enough for deployment. At this point, the application maybe goes into the cycle of understanding, exploration, prototyping, and evaluation. It's constantly being iterated upon and evaluated. Throughout this long and sometimes endless seeming cycle, certain aspects of the application have matured enough to be deployed. After many iteration cycles, the application may finally be mature enough to release its version 1. The cycle may continue until it reaches version 1, version 2, etc, etc, etc. Now the life of an application may be different from project to project. Some applications mature more quickly than others. And that's okay because no application is alike. So this is really interesting, but does beg the question, when is deployment technically introduced and how frequently should it be pushed live? Ideally, you and your team will be thinking about many things throughout the very early stages of the application's life. Before the app has even been designed, you and your team should be thinking about things like where it should live or what type of languages, frameworks, preprocessors, version control, security, accessibility, performance, and the list can go on and on. Along with that list is your deployment solution. As the application matures, your deployment strategy may change, and that's okay. We'd love to nail everything down on the first try, but realistically, it rarely happens. That's why we have things like research and iteration. If you begin to think about deployment solutions and strategy from the very beginning of your application's life, then hopefully you'll figure out that the magic solution after your first few deployments. The last thing you want to do is wait until your application is fully mature to version 1 and start looking for a deployment solution after the application has already been built. That usually leaves not enough margin for error and you're scrambling at the last minute before your deadline. The earlier you start thinking about it, the better. As far as the frequency of your deployments throughout an application's life, it's really up to you. I know it's a pretty lame answer, but it's really whatever works for you and your team. I've heard of some teams that have deployment schedule where they deploy code every quarter. Some teams try to deploy once a week. Other teams deploy their application every time they push something to GitHub. Others deploy whenever they feel good and ready. But some teams set automatic deployments while others prefer deploy manually. There are pros and cons to each way, and we'll try to touch on some of them as we continue throughout the course. I personally can't say one is better than the other, because it seriously depends on the situation. A good rule of thumb is as long as it gets your application from point A to point B, then it's a win in my book. So now that we've learned a little more about an application, and how deployment relates to a project's timeline, 